Hey booktube, it's Charlie from Reader Turned Writer and today I just wanted to show you how I edit my thumbnails in a free software called Paint.net. So I just open up my photo in Paint.net and this is for my wrap up. So the very first thing when I, what that I do when I open up the picture is I resize it because it has to be 1280 by 720 to work for a YouTube thumbnail. So I do that and then I go to adjustments and curves and I just I am not an artist or anything or a photographer so I just kind of try and make it look good and not over edited so I usually use curves you could use brightness and contrast I really suggest you do not use auto level and all of these other things unless you know what you're doing because it's really easy to make photos look over edited I think but so that's what I do. And then I always use my color picker as well and just choose a really dark spot because I keep my thumbnails really simple where I just do black words basically and a white almost transparent-y uh, around the words to make the words easier to read. And so I do my color picker and then I always do layers so that if I mess up something I can delete it really easily. So the first layer I do, I do the text and I almost always use 84 or 96. It kind of depends on what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do 96 this time. I'm actually going to bold it and I'm just going to keep it at the Calibri um, and just keep it really simple. And so I'm going to do April, no, it's the May, May wrap up. Maybe I'll do May reading wrap up. And so I'm just going to keep my, my wrap ups thumbnails are always just really simple. So there I have the words and then I actually add another layer. And this layer I always bring under here because I'm going to make it a little bit transparent and, and I'm going to do a color filler on it and so it has to be underneath. So then I just choose this shape here and just pick white and fill it in with color. And then I can click on this layer and I just change the opacity here. And I always do about 153-ish, 152. Um, I find that that's, I, I just like how that looks. And then uh, you can see it's just really simple, but you can look up here, you can kind of, um, this is because it's so small up here, when you look up here, you want to be able to kind of be able to read the words still so that you know that like, because thumbnails are really small and are seen really small on YouTube and everything, so you want to be able to see it clearly. Yep, so that's it. These are really, it's a really, really simple program, but it does exactly what I want it to. Um, you can do shapes here, you could do different colors, you could do circle, you know, th there's a lot of different ways that you could do a thumbnail and kind of make it your own. One tip that I was reading about with thumbnails is to kind of find your style as you start making them. So once, like I always do a thumbnail similar to this and sometimes I do the words along the bottom or sometimes I change it up a little bit, but I pretty much always do text surrounded by the the lower opacity box, white box there. And sometimes I do different uh, fonts and different things to kind of make it a little different, but I try and stick kind of with this same style so that when people are going through YouTube, when they see my thumbnails, they're like, oh yeah, that's uh, Charlie at Reader Turned Writer because they can recognize my thumbnails. So then I always also save it as a paint.net file first and I actually label it as paint.net because otherwise when I go to upload my video I keep them in the same file and it doesn't tell me that it's a paint.net file and so I want to be able to differentiate when I'm uploading to YouTube because a paint.net file will not work. So then I always save it again and I just delete the paint.net go away and 
I save it as a PNG. You could also do a JPEG, but I've heard that PNG is better. But like I said, I'm not a photographer, so I don't know. So then I always just push OK and flatten, which is fine because if you ever wanted to go back and re-edit something, you can open up the paint.net file and all of the layers will still be there. So you can edit them and or delete them or anything. And I've had to do that before with certain things like misspelling a word and not realizing it or something like that, or changing the, not changing the image size. And so it's always good to have the paint.net file saved still. So that's it. It's a really simple way to edit thumbnails that will look nice. To do my thumbnail picture, I always just set up my camera uh, to record and do a test video. And then as soon as I'm done with the test video, I do my thumbnail picture so that I don't forget to do it. And then I edit and then I record my video. And then I usually edit it as I'm putting the pictures on the computer. So that's it. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you got a lot out of it. I will see you in the next one.